excited. She had arranged to go and play with Patch. I'm off to play in the woods with Patch. Bye, Mummy and Daddy. Be careful, Connie, and don't be late coming back home. Connie skipped along happily, thinking of the fun she would have when she met up with Patch. Because she was so nice, Connie had lots of friends in the woods. Hello, Connie. Hello up there. Hello, Connie. Hello there, little frog. Connie looked out for her friend Patch, then suddenly... <laughs> hey, I wonder who can be laughing like that? Connie <laughs> saw that it was Patch who was laughing. Uh -oh. Let's go down to the river and play in the water. Oh, Patch has gone off to play with Cyril, but he did promise that he was going to play with me today. Connie was very sad. She thought Patch had forgotten all about her. Hello there, Connie. Connie. What's the matter, Connie? You don't look very happy to me. Patch doesn't like me anymore. He's got a new friend to play with. I'm on my own. That doesn't make sense, Connie. No sense at all. Patch is always telling me how much he likes you. I expect he's waiting for you in the woods so you can all play together. Of course he is. I'll go and find him now. Thank you, Belinda. Have a lot of fun, Connie. <laughs> Connie was looking for him. Patch and Cyril were playing happily. Oh, come on, Patch. <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> when she arrived, Connie saw that Patch and Cyril were having fun without her. But Linda was wrong, thought Connie, and she felt very sad. <laughs> When the others saw Connie looking so sad, they came to ask her what was the matter. Patch has found a new friend and he doesn't want to play with me anymore. What do you mean? We all know that Patch likes you very much. I think you need cheering up. Don't you agree, everyone? You're right, Tom. Come on, everyone. Let's all have a dance. Patch strummed on his harp, and the music cheered Connie up straight away. were trying to cheer her up. Thank you for trying to help me. You're very kind, but I have to go. Bye. Bye, Bye, Bye Connie. Connie! Connie decided to go back home. But on her way, she heard a voice that made her very happy. Connie! It's Patch! It was Patch and Cyril, and they came running across the field to meet her. waiting for me. You were having a very good time without me. Connie, whatever do you mean? We've been looking for you all over the place. It's okay. I know that Patch doesn't like me anymore. He'd rather play with you. What do you mean? I don't like you anymore. You're my best friend and Cyril's been helping me make a surprise for you. <laughs> You've been making a surprise for me. What kind of surprise is it, Patch? <laughs> The surprise was a basket full of delicious blackberries. You picked 
all those blackberries for me? What a special pleasure for you, Connie and Cyril, help me collect them. I said you're not eating blackberries, so I'll help the basket. Oh, they look delicious. I'm so happy. Thank you, both of you. Now Connie was happy. I'm so happy that you're happy, Connie. Our surprise worked. And I'm so sorry for thinking you didn't like me. It was silly. You can have lots of friends at the same time and like all of them. Yes, you're right. It's good to have lots of friends, but you know that you'll always be my best friend, don't you, Connie? Do you know what I think? We should share out the blackberries and have a party to celebrate being such good friends. Excellent idea! Yippee! Yahoo! Yippee! That night, Connie was so happy thinking what a good time she'd had with Patch and Sue that she couldn't get off to sleep. Oh. Oh. Connie went to the window and looked out at the moon. She decided that one day she'd like to have as many friends as there were stars in the sky. Oh.